Basic shaft removal of a steel shaft from an iron or metal wood is a relatively easy procedure. There are details to performing this service that every technician should know in order to ensure safety and provide the best possible quality and service to customers. Be sure to wear safety glasses and a shop apron and follow all appropriate safety procedures when performing shaft removal. If the iron has a ferrule, the ferrule must be removed. To remove the ferrule, place the iron in a vise using a rubber shaft clamp to protect the shaft. Position the club with the toe down and the ferrule approximately 4 to 6 inches from the vise. It is recommended to heat the ferrule for a few seconds with a heat gun before removing. This softens the ferrule material and makes it much easier to remove. After warming the ferrule, remove the ferrule using the super knife. With the leading edge of the knife positioned at the top of the ferrule and at a slight angle, push the blade towards the top of the hosel. The softened ferrule should cut easily. After cutting, remove the remaining portion of the ferrule by hand. After the ferrule is removed, be sure the shaft is secured in the vise using a rubber vise clamp. To heat the hosel, it is recommended a heat gun be used on a high setting. Heat the hosel for approximately 90 seconds, applying heat to the back of the hosel. After heating for 90 seconds, put on leather gloves and attempt to remove the head. If the head will not come off the shaft, continue heating for another 30 seconds. Repeat this process until the epoxy bond is broken and the head can be removed from the shaft. Some clubs are shafted with tip weights or tip weighting powder. When heated, this material can project from the tip of the shaft when the head is removed. Because of this, it is recommended that when pulling the head by hand, you stand to the side of the shaft tip. Once the head is removed, and while the hosel is still warm from the heating, clean the inside of the hosel using a wire hosel brush or hosel honing tool. To complete the preparation for reshafting, after the head is cooled, it is recommended the hosel be cleaned using cotton swabs, dampened with acetone. After swabbing out the hosel, set the club aside to dry for a few minutes. Once the hosel is dry, the head is ready for reshafting. In some cases, the outside of the hosel of an iron can become discolored during the heating process. If this occurs, once the hosel has cooled from the heating, blue away can be applied to remove the heat marks. Simply place a small amount of blue away on a paper towel or cloth rag and rub against the area that is discolored. Many iron models today have medallions in the back that are constructed of plastic, polymers, or rubber. If you're removing an iron with a medallion that has one of these materials, special care must be taken to prevent damaging the insert or medallion. To protect the insert during head removal, it is recommended the head be wrapped with a paper towel or cloth dampened with cool water. Once the damp cloth is in place, heat the hosel following the proper procedures. If you are unsure of the material or the procedure to use on multi-material club heads, call the Golf Works or return the club to the vendor for repair. If a shaft extractor is used to remove steel shafts, the same procedures used for graphite shaft extraction can be used, with the exception of twisting the head off of the shaft. You may use a twisting motion to remove a head from a steel shaft once the epoxy bond is broken. Make sure all cleaning solvents are removed from the area before any heating operation is performed. Wear eye protection at all times when extracting shafts. Avoid contact with heated club heads and machine parts during club head removal. Excessive force on the ratchet during the removal process may result in damage to the extractor and injury to the operator.